Hello everyone. I hope you all will be best of your health. Today we are going to start with chapter 10 of class 7 respiration in organisms. About respiration you must be having so many questions in your mind like why do we breathe? What is the breathing mechanism? What do we breathe out? What is the mechanism of breathing in other animals in underwater animals? And do plants also respire? So let us try to find out the answer of all these questions in this chapter. As all of you know that all living beings are made up of cells. A cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. Each cell performs certain functions like nutrition, transportation, excretion and reproduction. To perform these functions the cells need energy even when we are eating, sleeping or reading we require energy. But children where does this energy come from? The energy stored in the food is released during the respiration. Therefore all living organisms need to respire to get energy. During breathing we breathe in air. We all know that air contains oxygen. In the cells this oxygen helps in the breakdown of food and this breakdown of food to produce energy in the cells is called cellular respiration. In the cells, the food or glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water using oxygen. This breakdown in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration. Food can also be broken down without oxygen. This process is known as anaerobic respiration. Some organisms such as yeast can survive even in the absence of air and they are called anaerobes. They get energy through anaerobic respiration. So in the absence of oxygen, glucose breaks down into alcohol and carbon dioxide as we have shown you in this equation. So here glucose is converted into alcohol and carbon dioxide in the absence of oxygen. Children, even our muscle cells can respire anaerobically but only for a short time when there is temporary deficiency of oxygen. During heavy exercise, fast running, cycling, walking for many hours or heavy weight lifting, the demand for energy is very high. But the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited. In such situations, anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of energy. Have you ever wondered why you get muscle cramps after heavy exercise? The cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically. The partial breakdown of glucose produce lactic acid and the accumulation of lactic acid cause muscle cramps. We get relief from muscle cramps after the hot water bath or a massage. Can you guess why it is so? Hot water bath or massage improve circulation of the blood. As a result, the supply of oxygen to the muscle cells increases. An increase in the supply of oxygen results in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. Clear to everyone? Now, let us now understand about breathing. So, for this, I would like you to perform an activity. Close your nostrils and mouth tightly and look at a watch. What did you feel after some time? How long will you be able to keep both of them closed? Note down the time for which you could hold your breath. 
now you know that you cannot survive for a long time without breathing because you are not able to do so for a long time breathing means taking in air rich in oxygen and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide with the help of respiratory organs the taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation and giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation the number of times a person breathes in a minute is termed as the breathing rate during breathing inhalation and exhalation take place alternatively a breathe means one inhalation plus one exhalation generally we are not aware that we are breathing however if we try you can count your rate of breathing breathe in and out normally find out how many times you breathe in and breathe out in a minute did you inhale the same number of times as you exhaled now count your breathing rate after brisk walk and after running on an average an adult human being at rest breathes in and out 15 to 18 times in a minute during heavy exercise the breathing rate can increase up to 25 times per minute while we exercise not only do we breathe fast we also take deep breath and thus inhale more oxygen now let us understand about the mechanism of breathing normally we take in air through our nostrils when we inhale air it passes through our nostrils into the nasal cavity from the nasal cavity the air reaches our lungs through the windpipe lungs are present in the chest cavity this cavity is surrounded by ribs on the sides a large muscular sheet called diaphragm forms the floor of the chest cavity breathing involves the movement of the diaphragm and the rib cage so what happen during inhalation ribs move up and outward and diaphragm moves down this movement increases the space in our chest cavity and air rushes into the lungs the lungs get filled with air and during exhalation what happened ribs move down and inward while diaphragm moves up to its former position this reduces the size of the chest cavity and air is pushed out of the lungs so these movements in our body can be felt easily to understand the mechanism of breathing let us perform one activity children the material that will require for this activity is a thin sheet of rubber or plastic a white plastic bottle two balloons and a y shaped glass or plastic tube make a hole in the lid of the bottle so that the tube can pass through it to the forked end of the tube fix two deflated balloons now introduce the tube into the bottle as shown here now cap the bottle to make it airtight to the open base of the bottle tie a rubber or plastic sheet with the help of a rubber band to understand the expansion of lungs pull the plastic sheet from the base downwards and watch the balloons next push the rubber sheet up and observe the balloons again did you notice any change in the balloon yes you will observe that when we pull the rubber sheet downwards the balloon 
deflate this means that when rubber sheet is pulled down it increases the area of the plastic bottle and air pressure inside the bottle reduces as compared to outside the bottle as a result air from outside rushes in and inflates the balloon on the other hand when rubber sheet is pushed up the air the area of the plastic bottle reduced this increases the pressure inside the bottle so air is pushed out from the bottle which deflates the balloon so in this activity balloons represent our lungs and the rubber sheet works as the diaphragm somewhat similar mechanism takes place in our respiratory system also which shows that up and down movement of the diaphragm is responsible for the movement of air in and out of our lungs let us now try to understand how breathing in other animals take place animals such as elephants lions cows goats frogs lizards snakes birds have lungs in their chest cavity like the human beings how do the other animals breathe do they also have lungs like those of human beings let us find out a cockroach has small openings on the sides of its body other insects also have similar openings these openings are called spiracles for gaseous exchange oxygen rich air rushes through spiracles into the tracheal tubes diffuses into the body tissue and reaches every cell of the body similarly carbon dioxide from the cells goes into tracheal tubes and moves out through spiracles these air tubes or trachea are found only in insects and not in any any other group of animals now let us see what happens in earthworm the skin of an earthworm feels moist and slimy on touching gases can easily pass through them so earthworm respire through their skin now let us see breathing under water you have studied in class 6 that gills in fish help them to use oxygen dissolved in water gills are projections of the skin you may wonder how gills help in breathing gills are well supplied with blood vessels for exchange of gases now let us learn about frog how respiration takes place in frog although frog have a pair of lungs like human beings they can also breathe through their skin which is moist and slippery so this is different methods of respiration different methods of breathing different breathing organs in different kinds of animals i hope this all become clear to everyone now let us find out do plants also respire like other living organisms plants also respire for their survival they also take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide plants have small pores called stomata for the exchange of gases so this is how breathing takes place in plants i hope all your queries become clear by this video thank you for watching